Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and it's time to make a collage. Today I want to do something a little bit special and challenge myself. So I ordered off a used art and craft supply store, which is just kind of the best idea ever. I ordered a collection of scrapbooking slash collage materials slash greeting cards slash other just random things with art on them. Um, I ordered just this random collection of things from this store called Make and Mend. I'll leave links to this store in the description if you want to check it out. But basically they have people donate their used art and craft supplies. So if you tried something and you didn't love it and you want to donate your paint or something to this store, they accept your donations and then they sell it to new crafters for a discounted price. So it's a great way to try something new if you're not exactly sure if you want to fully invest into a new craft. You can get something used, something still good quality, but just someone else has tried it first. Um, so check out this store if you're interested at all. That, again, I'll leave links down below. So I looked at this stuff briefly just to take a photo for Instagram, but I haven't really taken a whole big look at everything. But what I thought might be really fun is if I created a collage with just everything here. So no looking at my other books, no other materials, just from this pile right here. And I'm gonna have to get really creative because there's, while there's a lot of stuff in here, I'm, I, it's, one, this is a little bit out of my style, I think. When I pick books, I take things that I'm really inspired by, that I really like the look of, and so they're all things that I sort of vibe with. And this is just random, and so I'm a little bit worried but I'm excited for this challenge. So let's take a quick look, like a deep dive into what is actually here. The one thing I think I noticed when I quickly looked at this is there's a lot of greeting cards, which I think is cool. There's also a lot of religious things. So there were some angels, some cherubs, you know, people praying. So we'll see if we can sort of maybe do some angels. See, like, I don't exactly know if I'm gonna work with that type of thing. But there's also a lot of flowers, which are, is right up my alley, you guys know that. And there's some cool scenes. So I think we just need to look really close at everything and I'm just gonna see if anything catches my interest. I have no idea, so let's just start looking. Okay, a lot of Christmas stuff, which it's October, so you know, we're getting towards Christmas time, but we're not quite there yet. Ooh, these flowers are kind of nice. Okay, so I've sort of grouped things by how much I liked them. So I have things here. Let me start laying some of this stuff out that I really liked. Like, I love this illustration. I love this gold frame. It could be really cool to sort of do the art in here and maybe have it coming out or something. I love doing that. I just think that's really cool. Um, I loved this bird with the scarf and the hat. I just thought that was really cool. This scene is also really nice and actually might look cool with this gold frame. So we'll see. And then these cats, I just thought were really funny and I love that they're black and white and sort of sketchy. And then these flowers, I just thought were really vibrant and I love the colors of them. Then this scene, so I kind of liked a lot of the uh, sort of landscapes. Like this is basically like the snowy version of this. Like this is the same scene, just in two different seasons, which is funny. So I kind of liked that. These flowers I liked, although they are a little bit dark. I don't know. This, <laughs> for some reason, this baby walking up the steps of this dog, I just think is so funny. So maybe that, and then these flowers. So, I also just kind of piled everything else that I wasn't like instantly inspired by over here. I do like these tigers, but I didn't quite have an idea.
All right, I actually think this is gonna be really challenging. A lot of this stuff is really, you know, specific. It's very ha holiday focused or sort of this sort of sketchy landscape type thing. I don't know, this is just like very different than what I normally do. So I'm a little bit not sure, but I think what we should do and what I always do first is just start cutting out stuff that I like because then you can start like putting stuff in different um, scenes in different areas and you start to get a better idea of it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out this frame because I love that. And cut out some of these like characters or flowers that I liked and start overlaying them and just see if there's stuff that I think works well together. So let's just start, you know, cutting stuff out. There's so many animals in this, so many cats and dogs and bunnies. And I feel like I should be really inspired and really love how many like animals and dogs are in here, but I just, I'm just, am not sure. I just don't know what to do with them. Maybe it's because they're all different styles. So all these illustration styles are just way different as even photos. And maybe I just don't feel like I know what to do with that. So I found this woman who's sort of like a cutout from a greeting card and I thought maybe she would kind of be fun in a scene, although I'm not exactly sure if you know the background is lost a little bit too much in this. Um, I, don't, I don't really know how to incorporate this in a seamless way. <laughs> So I don't actually know what to do with it, but I kind of like, I kind of like how it looks against this dark scene. I don't know, guys. I'm really, I feel really lost. I'm just not sure what to do. I'm really not sure, but this is like such a challenge. I'm trying really hard to think, think outside the box here. Okay, so should I try to pair these sleeping kittens with these big cats? Is that kind of a funny play? Because they're both cats. They're both very different types of cats. I don't know, maybe. I think I have two ideas and I might do two separate things. I have an idea involving these two things, which the entire idea is a little bit more serious, a little bit more, um, I think it's gonna be a little bit more mature, I guess I'll say. And then my other idea involves all these cats. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get them aligned, but you know, we've like these big wild cats, these sleeping kittens, and then these weird singing cats. Maybe I can smush them all together in some way. I still don't know how I'm gonna do that, but that would be kind of like a sillier collage. So I think I have two different directions I'm gonna push forward with. I'm gonna try to do some interesting things with the layout on this one, like maybe cut this into a circle or, you know, round of corners on this and have them sort of layer in a maybe interesting way. I still am not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. And I might integrate some of these flowers because I think they might be kind of nice to balance out everything. I don't know. I'm still feeling very not sure what I'm doing, but I think that I sort of just have to like go progress in a direction or two and then really like just commit to some stuff and see um, what goes from there. I do still have this frame, which I do still like. So maybe we can, that will help you know, I don't know, frame up one of the pieces that help make it feel more cohesive or something. I, I'd again, I still really don't know, but let's cut out all these cats. All right, here we are with the cat one. <laughs> this is actually really kind of funny. I even stole this little bow to go in this. 
I kind of love the mom or dad's expression here because he kind of looks mad that this cat's on his head, which is actually kind of funny. Um, the thing I'm still not sure about is that do I leave, do I leave um, these tigers in their background or do I take them out? And if I take them out, do I replace it with something? I do like that they're in the background, but I feel like these cats are, are interacting with the outside circle a little bit in a weird way. I also am not sure if I even like these cats. No, I do like them. And I think when they're tucked under his paws, that would be kind of nice. This is just a lot of cats. It's really kind of funny. <laughs> So I kind of like how this frame is framing this whole piece. So I think I'm gonna cut the circle down to size, but I'm not sure about these kittens anymore. I'm not exactly sure if they fit super well in this. It's either I feel like the frame or the kitten sleeping. And I'm not sure, but I do feel like if they're not there, this needs maybe one more thing or something, I'm not exactly sure, but I guess let me cut it down to size and we can assess afterwards. What I think I also might wanna do is cut out some of these um, paws so that they stick out past the frame. Oh boy, I'm messing all this up. So let me just cut this out. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. All right, should I try to add more cats? Again, I know we talked about these sleeping kittens, but I just, I just don't know. I don't think they fit. All right, guys, let me try to bring you a little bit closer to what's going on over here because I found a few more things we might want to add. I found this little ball of yarn that I thought might be funny if the little little cub here was just, you know, playing with a little bit, batting it around. Here, let's see, where should I put this exactly? Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, oops. Oh boy, gotta be really careful. Um, the other thing I found was this other cat. We're just really loading up with the cats today. And I thought maybe if I could nestle, I might cut the mom's, her whiskers might get in the way. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I thought that maybe if this cat was bumping up against the mom, that might be extra cute. I really kind of just feel like if we're gonna go with the cat thing, we might as well go 100% into the cats, you know? So let's add all the cats that we have. And the last thing I found is sort of this rogue paw, which I thought maybe would just kind of stick out from the side to, you know, just add another little cat thing. I think, well, actually, now that I'm looking at these again, maybe if I cut out just this one cat, I could fit him in somewhere like sleeping atop the frame. I don't know. Let's cut him out and see if we can fit him in there. Now I'm kind of just like, let's go hard on the cats. Okay, so I have him here. He has his two little paws hanging, so I thought maybe he could, you know, just be laying on the frame like that. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of funny. But now this guy, where does he fit? Okay, if I tuck them a lot closer, then they take up a lot less space. I have to cut his tail off. Oop, we got a floating paw. All right, that, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, we got his, we lost his yarn ball. All right, I think that this one is sort of as cat-centric as it's gonna get right now. I think we need to work on our other little collage and see if we can get further with that. Okay, so for this collage, we have this landscape, this woman who's sort of this um, cut out paper thing, and then a bunch of flowers. 
So I think we need more flowers. And I think I saw someone I was looking for other stuff for the cats. And I think maybe what I wanna do is cut this scene into a circle, then overlay this woman on the side. Or maybe I just wanna do part of it as a circle. I don't know, I want this to be a unique shape, but I'm not sure why. Oh, I know what my idea was. I thought I had an idea. If I cut this into a circle and have her sort of off to the side, then I could lay a bunch of flowers on this side. So it looks like she's sort of coming from flowers and going into this scene. That makes logically no sense. But I kind of thought visually that that might be a nice scene. This is very different from the cats thing where I just threw a bunch of cats all on the same thing. This is gonna be a lot more um, sort of symbolic. I'm not exactly sure. So, okay, flowers, cut this into some sort of shape, although that is scary. But let's first look for more flowers. The last thing that I found is this hand that's holding a little note that says yours forever. And I thought that that just kind of added, you know, an extra level of meaning to this piece. I think that this has a lot more going on than I normally create. It has sort of like a deeper story and it's almost sort of sad in a way. I don't know if everyone else is gonna sort of interpret interpret this the same way that I am, but there's something sort of sad about this piece, but it's also sort of beautiful. It's it's interesting. It's definitely different than what I normally do. Here, let me pull in the cat's picture. So here are the two collages that we created today from my little mystery box challenge. Um, overall, I think that these turned out decent, especially given the challenge that I had. And this was really challenging for me. I'm so used to the books and materials that I normally use. So so to, you know, th sort of throw all that out the window was really hard. Um, but I do think that I learned a few things from this. I definitely love the different textures that are going on in this piece. You know, the oil painting has its own texture. Definitely this cutout, uh, paper cutout has its own texture. Uh, these flowers have like a cross stitch texture, which I've never really thought to use before. It came from a specific greeting card that had sort of that texture in it. So I think that this piece is doing a lot of texture things that I don't normally do, which I think is fun. This cat's piece is just kind of weird. And I just picked all the cats and put them in one scene, which is maybe a little bit of a cop out, but I still kind of think that it's funny. <laughs> That's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching me sort of struggle with this challenge. I do think it's a good reminder to put rules and guidelines around your project sometimes. It really does help push you in different directions and it really does help you strengthen your creativity and think of things in different and new ways that you never would have thought of things before. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye.